Good day, class. Good day, Good day to you, teacher. teacher. So, I'm your teacher for today. Her name is Luis Oluses, and my partner, teacher Christine Joy, is Martinez. So, before we start our lesson, let us pray, for sir. Yes, let us pray. So, I will be the one that will lead the prayer. So, let's, I will just put my things here. Okay, let's start. Pagkano po ng Diyos, napapasalam po kami na napakalang sa inyo. Pinigyan po kami ng pagkakataon na makapag-aral at mabigyan ng katalimuan ng kaalaman. Lalo-lalo na po ang aking mga estudyante. Ang mga ikaw na pong bahala sa amin. Naway malinawan po kami sa mga pag-aaral namin sa araw na ito. At sana din po ay matulungan nyo rin po kami na maibigay po namin ng ang lahat ng aming mga kaya. Lalo-lalo na po sa pagtuturo sa aming mga mahal na estudyante. Ang lahat ng po, Mike, ano po namin hinihiling sa iyo? Sa tayong pag-alala ng Panginoong Kristo na siyang nakita po namin itong pagligtas. Amen. This is a greeting in our prayer. And before I start with our lesson for today, I will check the attendance. Okay, class? So, stay present if you are here. Okay. So, we are going to start from the males. From the males, um, Mark. Where's Mark? Present, sir. Hey, you're there. Okay. Mark. And uh, next, Carlo. Where's Carlo? Are you here, Carlo? Present, sir. Oh, there you are, in the back. Okay, okay. And next, Jetro. Where is Jetro? Jetro? Dito po, sir. You're in the front? Okay, you're in the front. And Henry, Henry Ubiña. Okay, Henry, Henry, Oh, you're also in the back. Milo, Milo. Milo every day. Where's Milo? You're in the front. Ah, uh, next. Okay, okay. I see you there. And John Paul, John Paul. Where's John Paul? Okay, John Paul. And last, Jason, 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 where's Jason, Jason? Sir, did you sir? Are you here, Jason? Sir, did you sir? So, why are you... Oh. Why did you not raise your hand? I told you to raise your hand. I can see you there. You're so small. Okay, I see you. And from the females, the first one, Jasmine, where's Jasmine? Oh, you're there person. also. Next to Carlo, okay. And Samantha, where's Samantha? Hey, you're Thanks Samantha. You. The glasses, right? Okay, and number three, what's this? Ari, 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 where's Ari? Oh, sir. Present po. Can't pronounce it right. I'm confused with your name. Okay, Ari, I can see you there also. And Jackie, where's absent Jackie? Absent po, sir. Absent po, yeah. Is she absent? Okay, she's absent. And number five, Joy, where's Joy? Actually, nandito pa ako sa mga. Why are you in the back? I'm late late mo ka. Come here in the front. Ito ko na lang para makita kita. Okay. And number six, Monica, where's Monica? Monica. Oh, you're so tall. Baka mas lutas ka pa kaysa sa akin. Okay, I can see you. And number seven, I wish you were so rich. Oh, you're there also with Joy. You're also small. Maliit ka rin. Dito ka na rin sa front. Lipat kayo. Okay? That's all for the attendance. Let's start our lesson. Okay, class. So, our, so our subject for today is... Po, sir. Ako po, sir. Ako po, sir. May idea po ako niyan. What's that, Carlo? Science po, sir. Yes. Our subject for today is science. And do you know what is our topic for today? In In science. I don't have an idea, sir. Okay, class. Before we start our lesson, I hope that you can identify the classification of animals according to their uses. Yes. The uses of animals for different needs. Next is me can explain the importance of animals to humans. I want that all of you will participate in our discussion to learn something from me and also to your teacher, Christian Joyce Martinez. I hope that all of you will participate in our discussion for today. And also your recitation is very important, especially for the teachers. Kasi, ganito yun. If you can recite, you can answer the questions. Ibig sabihin, makikinig kayo sa amin. And that is very important. So as you can see here, these are the objectives or this this will be our guide, especially in teaching you about the importance of animals to humans. So okay class, let's start our lesson for today. Okay, our first activity. What does animals sound like? So alam ko naman na nakarinig na ng sounds ng animals, di ba? Yes, po so, sir. Okay. So what if I ask you about what does this animal sound like? What sound did? It... 
Anyone from the class? Me po, sir. Ako po. Okay, Jason. What sound does this in the picture produce? Quack, 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 quack. Yes, it's quack. So the animal here is a? Duck, po, yes, sir. Yes, it's a duck. And what does duck quack, produce? Quack, 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 quack. Yes, class. Quack. Okay, next. Next animal. This is the second animal. What does this animal produce? Can anyone guess what animal is this? Yes, Jasmine. What animal is in the drawing? It's a dog, yes, sir. It's a dog. And what sound does it produce? The sound that it produces is ow. Yes, that's right. Ow. We can repeat it three times. And ow, ow, ow. Yes. Thank you for the answer. Okay. Third animal. I hope you can guess it. Because my drawing is not that good. Okay, who wants to answer? Anyone from the class? Ako tabi, sir. Okay, John Paul, from the back. From this drawing, what do you see? From this illustration? Cow po yan, sir. Yes, you're correct. It's a cow. And what does cow sounds like? Mu. Yes, it produced a sound mu. You can. Make it more longer, like moo, and that's what cows produce. And the sound that they produce is everybody moo. Thank you, class. A cow produces the sound moo. This is the fourth animal. Anyone from the class? wants to participate, wants to answer? Yes? Actually, sir, I want to participate. Okay, Joy, from the front. What animal do you see? It's a chicken, sir. Yes, it's a chicken. What does chicken produce? The what sound is clock. Yes, it's clock. You can repeat it three times, like clock, clock, clock. And that's the sound that chicken produce. So everybody, what does the chicken Sounds like? Look, 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 look. Very good. Okay, let's proceed to the fifth animal. Sorry, fifth animal, please. This may be also hard to draw because I'm not familiar with how to draw these animals. Maybe illustrate. It's the fifth animal. So, what animal do you see? Class. Anyone? Can I pull, sir? Oh, so surprising Irish. So, what animal do you see in the board? It's a goat, pull, sir. Yes, it's a goat. And what does goat sounds produce? The sound it produces is me. Yes, it's a me. You can make it longer like me. me. That's the sound that a goat produces. Thank you for your participation and let's continue with our checking checking the assignment. As you can see here, we have a buffalo, coconut, and the transport cart. So what can you say about these pictures? Can they help us in our livelihood and what is the purpose of the buffalo especially with those two the transport cart and coconut and how does how do we use this to deliver deliver the goods especially those crops that's are the questions that we have to answer especially in this assignment and we are checking it today okay class 
This is your assignment and this is the first question. What comes up in your mind when you saw this picture? Those pictures that I sh show you here? Anyone can answer po? Ako po sir. Answer po ako. Yes, Jason. That's Jason. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? They are used for picking up coconut and transport it. Yes, it is used for picking up coconut and transport, especially in rural areas. Yung mga hindi gaano na pupuntahan ng mga behikulo. Yes, okay. And second question. What is more important? Is it the bubolo, coconut, or the cart? Sige na po, answer na. Presentation nyo to, class. Can I answer, answer po, sir? Okay, Joy. You can answer. Joy. According po dyan sa pictures po, bubolo is the most important. Yes! You're right. The bubolo is important. Kasi paano nga naman gagalaw yung transport cart kung wala yung bubolo at Kung wala yung, yung transport cart, hindi mo maaari yung coconut. Hindi mo madideliver o matatransport sa mga tindahan or stores. Okay. Next, number three. What are the uses of bubalo? Um, dito class, from transportation, what are the uses ng bubalo? Can you give me examples? Sir, ako tabi, sir. Okay, John Paul. Your, your turn. Yan po. Bopalo, sir, yes. can be used for farming po. Yes. Bopalo can be used in farming. Why? Uh, maybe some of you, your grandparents, your grandfather, used bopalo in farming. And that's a good, great example. Okay, next. What do you think is more the importance of bopalo in this picture? So we're going back again from the previous question. Parelo lang naman. Okay, who wants to answer dito sa La Parta pa? Can I po, sir? Okay, Carlo. You can answer po. Yes. Okay, you can start now. Bupalo is used for transport. Yes. It is used for transport or in complete sentences, Bupalo is used for transport. Okay? Very good, very good, Carlo. And last. Why do we need to rely on animals in transportation of goods? Bakit nga ba tayo magre-rely sa animals, especially sa mga trans pag-transport ng goods o pag-deliver ng goods? So, anyone po? You can simplify lang para hindi ka mahirapan. Plus. Ano lang po, sir? Because not yes. all vehicles can access po, especially rural areas. Basically, these transports by using animals can be seen in provinces. Why? Can, you, can I share my knowledge to you, class? Okay? Pwede yes, po, sir. Sir. Sure. Kasi class, unlike from urban areas, we are in rural areas. And in rural areas, um, many the places are narrow, muddy, and rough roads. So, hindi talaga siya ma-access ng lahat ng vehikulo. Vehicles can access those places. So, what, what we do is, we use these animals, but in a good way. Hindi naman natin pinapainapan talaga na. We torture them like that. We are using them slowly and carefully, pinapangalagahan din natin yung animals natin. Especially those bubalos because they are the ones that can access these narrow roads, muddy roads, and rough roads. And also, they can be used for picking up yeah, coconuts. They can walk from that distance because there are roads, especially when we are getting coconuts from coconut trees. Right? And that's, that's the most important part in using bubalo as a transportation. Okay. So those are the so those are the answers in the assignment. Thank you for answering class and especially those that participated. You have you have a good grade for me. Okay. So anyone can participate in our next discussion. Okay.